pray for the women and pray for the staff and pray for the state and everything that's going on. And in case you don't know, there's eight other states participating in this today. And at the same time, even Alaska, California, Texas, what, you know, it's crazy. So, um, uh, you know, obviously, if you've, if you've never done something like this before, your mind's going to drift and whatever. But then when you just realize, you just pull it back and just focus again, you know. Uh, God and abortion, sin revival. Amen. Amen. So, you're, thank you all so much for coming. This is awesome. Yeah. Really incredible. Are you Leah? I'm Marcia. I'm the associate director, and that's Larry, Leah's husband. Leah is at Epoch Clinic today, so we're kind of our team is kind of spread out through the six clinics. There's six clinics in Orlando. There's six clinics in Orlando. And so if you want to just begin to line up, you can just start right where the sidewalk goes, and we'll come all the way down, and then we can even go across the street and form another line so that everybody has visibility of the curve. Yeah, I think we'll probably have to just either walk or get in the car. I don't think there's anything. A trash bag? Well, we can create one if we need something Absolutely. I wanted to share a verse, a couple verses with us. We're here to proclaim and to declare a seat against abortion. We're going to begin to stand and fix our face on this thing and believe that God is going to minister and even win the souls of these doctors, these abortionists that are in there. That God's going to answer your prayer. I'm not cursing them. We're not here to curse anybody. We're not here to, to do two wrong things. We're here to believe and to proclaim God. Save their souls. Save the souls of these men and women. Save the soul. Overturn the curse of Margaret Sanger. That window, that, up, that gate that she opened up over America, overturn that thing in Jesus' name. Would you answer our prayer as we come together, Latins, Anglos, African Americans, coming together, believing that God would answer our prayer. That's why we're here. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. Ezekiel also talks about this. God looks for a man. He looks for a woman. He looks for somebody who would stand on the wall in the breach, and that's what you're doing. It's uncomfortable. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're outside of your pretty walls to be a witness. You don't have to say anything. You get to stand right here, and He is the witness through you by a simple stand. So I want to encourage you. I want to thank you. We have some drinks. We have whatever you need. We'll do our best to, to serve you and and I want to really commend you for coming out. And so I know we're early. I'm going to pray for us. I'm going to ask God to release an anointing on us as we stand to tear down every every ashrap pole, every altar that's been created for Baal in this city and in this region. That He will use you to tear these things down. For us.
Yeah. You know, I, I wonder what, what more could God do if, if you were looking for a sign as to what he would have to do here. Uh, I, I There's a hospital right there. You can take them right there. Yeah. I wish you would open those blinds and just look outside. There are people on the sidewalk that have been praying for you. They prayed for you last night. They prayed for you the week before. They've been a praying people. And now a living, visible sign is out here in the street. And they're a sign that God loves you. Young mom, we don't know you. I I'm sure that we'd love you if we knew you, but I, I see you looking. We don't know you, and I know that we'd love you if we knew you, but this is for sure. God knows you, and God loves you, and that is why all of these people are here. They are children of the King named Jesus, and He is beseeching you today because you are at the very gates of hell. Where one is there that will rob, kill, and destroy, he will take your money, he will take your child, and he will take your spirit. I'm glad you're looking out that window because they're all here. They're signs. God speaking to you because he loves you. Not because he hates you, but because he loves you. And there is a word in the scripture. In Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19, God says this. I call heaven and earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you this day, this May the sweetheart. Can we do something? Okay, but we'll take it to the point where you get help for the long term. So what's the word? Well, you know how Omar talks about it. Okay, you you like the 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 I call heaven and earth. Yes, you, know. yes, you have a choice today, young mother. You have a choice as to whether or not you will lay your own life down that that child might live, or that you may lay the life of your child down. Come on, I'll talk to you. Oh, we got a spare we got two. 